What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Ozark Trail hammock chair I picked up at Walmart for $39.99. Today we're going to be doing a one month review. I reviewed the Ozark Trail hammock chair on the main channel ISN roughly two to three weeks ago. I figured I would take the time to do a one month review, talk about what I like about this hammock chair, what I dislike about it. We'll talk about the build quality, we'll talk about comfortability, and last but not least, I figured I would address some of the questions some of my commenters had about this hammock chair and address them with you in this one month review so you can get a good idea as to the quality of this chair after using it for a month. Welcome to ISN Now. This is the channel where we review items after we unbox them. Our main channel is ISN. Go ahead and check that out. But for now, stay tuned and be sure to hit that like and subscribe to see more content like this. Let's go ahead and start the review. Okay, so the first bullet point I want to cover is build quality. As you can see, it is an aluminum frame, similar to a lawn chair you would find from any other brand, whether that be Tommy Bahama or Ozark Trail. So depending on how much you spend, won't make a difference in the build quality. This is capable of holding up to 300 pounds. I myself weigh 215 pounds. I have a lot of headroom. Nonetheless, I think having that headroom allows you to use the hammock chair in other ways first not imaginable. For instance, you may swing back and forth in this chair. It does creak and rattle a little bit and we will talk about that here momentarily, but I think for the most part you can expect to sit in this chair safely. As you'll notice, I did not mention in the last video I made the unboxing and first impressions there are a pair of cussing rings that come attached around this hook. It already comes pre-assembled. You do not have to assemble this out of the box, but all you need to do to get this chair to swing back and forth smoothly, it does creak and rattle a little bit. It is a chair. It is not a swing. You will need to install this chair on the cussing rings. Now that we're talking about creaking and rattling and build quality, I think fit and finish should also be mentioned here. This is a piece of nylon fabric material. It is sewn together. As you can tell, it actually looks great after having used it for a month. I've been swinging around in it, sitting in it a variety of different ways. I do expect this to eventually tear. And by the way, I keep this out on my patio all week, all night, all day, uh, in the rain. I do not bring this in. The only time I've brought this in since the last time I reviewed this is today. And that being said, the threads that are holding the fabric together are perfect. Now, another point I want to bring up about build quality is heft. In the unboxing and first impressions, I talked about the size, the girth, the weight. We also saw in the unboxing and first impressions how you fold this up and stow it to transport it. It is a little bit different. It can potentially be a tad more cumbersome and a little bit more time consuming to fold up and transport. Nonetheless, it's a great weight. It's light enough to carry around for a small child a medium-sized adult. That being said, even though it is a hefty, strong, durable material, I do find that after sitting in it and just gently swinging in it back and forth, it will move from the original position you have it in. Now, just to demonstrate how easy this chair is, because I believe this also pertains to build quality, let's go ahead and quickly demonstrate just how simple this is to fold up and transport. Now, whether or not you remove the hammock chair or the cushion from the cussing rings is up to you. I would probably suggest removing it for transporting it. However, just to demonstrate how easy this is to assemble, all you have to do to fold this up 
is pick this up and as you can see it folds just as easy as that. And of course, to unfold it, all it needs to do is slide into place. And then of course, what I failed to mention in the unboxing and first impressions was how to install this hammock chair on the cussing rings. As you can see, it is a triangular steel piece on either side, again, denoting a good, durable, quality material being used. This is a nice, hefty chair. You'll also notice the tag on the back of the seat cushion needs to be facing backwards so that it's not visible. That's how you know it's right side round. You'll also notice that the seat cushion is much wider than the back cushion. That's how you'll know how you need to place this seat cushion. And I think you might remember from the first impressions video, in order to make sure that this is as comfortable as possible, you will need to fold this seat cushion flap inward or else it's going to be empty space. So in order to get this on the cussing rings, it's as simple as attaching it, but you'll want to make sure you do this because if they are not installed properly, it will creak and rattle more than it is now. So as you can see, speaking of the cussing rings, it is a little bit creaky, it is a little bit cracky. Now, one of my commenters complained about this and I agree, it is annoying, but this is a chair and not a swing. You normally lay in a hammock, not swing in a hammock. Nonetheless, if you have the chair on the cussing rings, it does swing back and forth more smoothly. And in fact, I think if we apply just some WD-40, this might be okay, but I strongly recommend not doing so because it might create an odor that's unpleasurable. Okay, so now that we have talked about build quality, let's go ahead and talk about comfortability because this is something a couple of my other commenters have mentioned about this chair. Now, originally it was empty space when I installed it the first time. And that's why it is so important that you fold this flap in. Because if you leave the flap folded out, it really is just empty space. And well, actually it's not that uncomfortable, but it doesn't provide as much back support had you fold this front flap in. Now, even though this isn't your typical chair, it doesn't have a regular seat back. As you'll also notice, there are no armrests here. The way I like to sit in this chair is usually with my legs crossed and sort of bundled up. It's actually really comfortable and actually allows you to swing the chair without getting that annoying creaking and rattling sound. So just pay attention here momentarily. I will demonstrate how I like to sit. As you can see, just with my leg crossed over my left leg and recessed sort of back and up into the seat cushion here, as you can see, I can swing back and forth. It's comfortable. I don't have to exert much energy and it's extremely relaxing and therapeutic to sit this way. And then if I want, which I normally do, I swivel around and I change it up. And as you can see, I rest my arm. I either hold onto the back of the chair with my hand or I rest my arm over top and have my right arm on my foot or text. Either way, it's pretty comfortable. But last but not least, I do believe this chair is therapeutic in some way, shape or form. And it's almost like acupuncture. If you actually have your arms rested on top of the frame of the chair. It is a little bit sharp. It does puncture your wrists or your forearms a bit, but it is actually kind of comfortable and actually gets the blood flowing. So momentarily, I think in the unboxing and first impressions video, I was actually against having 
this front flap folded in. Now that the chair is broken in and it's two to three weeks old, it's actually kind of comfortable sitting in it this way but as you'll notice it still lacks the necessary back support this isn't the most ideal chair to sit upright in but it's still comfortable nonetheless and actually i think you'll notice here that with the front flap folded out instead of in i actually have more space to lay back in it Okay, so like I said at the beginning of the video, let's talk about some of the comments commenters left on the unboxing and first impressions video and let's address them now. This person said, I bought it, looked comfy and fun, hated it. It was a little better after folding the bottom to sit more upright, but it's still super awkward to sit in for anything more than 10 minutes, returning it, period. Now I can completely agree with this person. During the unboxing and first impressions, behind the scenes, setting this chair up for the first time, I too was disappointed at how sort of awkward it felt sitting in it upright. But after having given this chair a chance after two to three weeks, it actually proved to be pretty amazing and pretty comfortable and relaxing to sit in. It definitely offers a different style of sitting in a chair compared to a regular chair and it's actually more relaxing because of it and because you can sort of swing back and forth lightly it does make it more relaxing because of that and last but not least this commenter said how do I keep it from creaking so dang loud and to that I say this is not a swing it's a chair. So even though it is a little bit unfortunate that you cannot swing as if it were a swing set, that would be amazing. But that being said, if you weighed at the upper end of this weight limit, like maybe 275, 280, 300 pounds, uh, swinging in this chair would actually take it over the top, I believe and cause it to break. So it's not designed to swing in, it's designed to sit in and relax in like a hammock. It's just in a chair form. It's transportable, it's portable. You can take it with you to the beach, to the park, anywhere else, to a barbecue, have it in your backyard. This chair is extremely comfortable. No, you cannot swing in it violently, but you can swing in it gently. Anyways guys, that has been a one month review of the Ozark Trail hammock chair I picked up at Walmart for $39.99. Because I picked this up at Walmart, that does make it a big box good. Not sure how long this will stay on store shelves. Summer is coming to an end. Also not sure if this will reappear next season. However, this is a phenomenal chair. It's a phenomenal value. It has an excess weight limit up to 300 pounds. Being only 215 pounds, I see myself being able to sit in this comfortably and not having to worry about uh, the build quality or this thing falling apart or breaking. Also, what I want to just reaffirm here is after having this on my patio for around a month, it has been raining profusely. This is not moldy. There are no stains on it. It's dry. It airs out really well. If someone sits in this chair with a bathing suit, it will dry quickly and not contain some of that moisture and eventually smell funky or moldy. Also, what I like about this chair is the build quality. It can take up to 300 pounds, meaning if I want to sit in this chair a variety of ways and force weight on it in a variety of ways, I shouldn't have to worry about it breaking. Also, even though it does tend to creak and crack a little bit, uh, if you actually just swing in it gently and maybe sit in it a couple of different ways and rock back and forth in it gently just to relax yourself, you shouldn't have a problem. And like I said, if you're thinking about applying WD-40 to these cussing rings, I strongly recommend against it WD-40 does have a residual odor that might be just a little bit nauseating or 
uncomfortable to breathe in uh, just due to the fact that the cussing rings, which is where you would apply the WD-40, are at head level, they are at nose height, and like I said, will have a residual odor and potentially bother you. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this one month review. I love this Ozark Trail hammock chair. It's therapeutic, it's relaxing, it's a lot of fun to sit in, uh, and other people like sitting in it too, so it's a great icebreaker. Anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in to ISN Now. This is the channel where after we unbox items, we review them. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I made a video and I promised you I would start making more videos on this channel. So I figured I would continue that role with this video. This is just a simple video. It's a quick video, but it gets the point across. After having used this for a month, it's been absolutely phenomenal. The build quality is just as good, if not better, than when I first got it. Like I said, after breaking it in, I am finding myself sitting in this more comfortably. The creaking and rattling is still there, but it's still an awesome and really comfortable chair. Anyways, guys, hit that like button, subscribe. If you wanna see more content like this, check out our main channel, ISN, or search John Warminski. You can also check out some of the links on this channel to find ISN. Or if you want to find this channel from the main channel, there are links there as well. My name is John. Tell your friends and family we review items from big box retailers as well as online stores, brick and mortar stores. Thank you so much again for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.